Oh, Taylor's too scared to play birdies with me. But there we go. Uh, we got the lilac breasted rollers. But they were being very mean because exactly where that roller was sitting was actually a mayor's parrot. But they chased them off, uh, the pair of rollers. Oh, the rollers look like they want to go for round two. Okay, let me just reverse quickly for you there, Sebastian. So the parrots, they ch got chased out of this bosque into the next bosque, which is, of course, a shepherd's tree. Hold on, hold on. No one behind me, Sebastian. Okay, we're not going to have an accident then. Um, not the best view. I was hoping they'd be a bit closer. But I can hear them screeching away. So bottom, is that the parrot there? Or is that a starling that has landed in the same tree that the parrots are screeching from? I think that's a... There we go. Let's have a look from the distance, but it is a... A glossy. Uh, which glossy have we got? Wait, there, there's a parrot, there's a parrot. Just to the right of the starling, hopping around in the thicket. It looks like a cape glossy starling to me. With the yellow eye. Oh, the parrots are in there somewhere. Oh dear, they're not being... I can, you can hear them screeching. That's Don Roller. We had such a nice view of the parrots. Oh, there's more parrots just behind me. They sound like they're in that little camphor tree. It is a beautiful morning for birding here in the Mara. It is exquisite. And while it's cool, we're going to take advantage of all the, the birds we don't often see that are out in these little forests. But as it gets warmer, I'm going to move. There's the parrot. I'll try to get a bit closer now, but just for safety. In the tree? Or... In the tree, right there. Down to the left of it. Left, left, there he is. Yeah. Is that a parrot? No. No, it's another starling. But that's where they were screaming from. Let us listen for another scream. Riti says she loves the parrot so much. Me too, Riti. Okay, I can still hear them screaming. Let's go a bit further forward. They might be actually in the bushes below. And they are stunning. They're called Mayer's parrots or brown parrots, depending on where you're from. That's another good... Oh, they're here, right here somewhere. Oof, they're making so much noise, I can't, just can't see them. Now, let's have a look in this bush, in these bushes just below that tree. That's... Or oh, they're in the tree itself, I can't see. Mm. I've got an idea. I've got an idea, everyone. Listen to them. Uh, there's one in the tree, but it's completely silhouetted now. Okay, now we need to go backwards again. Try to get the light a bit better. Please don't fly. 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 So try have it. You happy there? Sebastian reckons he can get them from here. So they were in the tree. Oh, it's going to be quite difficult to see. As I said, the light's quite difficult, but you can, there, you can see the very distinct parrot beak. And they've got... Oh, off it goes. Uh, yellow on their shoulders. So they've got a big brown head, like our brown-headed parrots, except they've got a yellow little thing on their... Oh, actually, I'll show you a picture then. Um, on, their, on, their, on their front. And, uh, and then yellow on their shoulders, which makes them quite, quite distinct when they fly. They are beautiful. Very, very noisy. As we can hear. Screaming away. Oh, there they're flying past us. Squawk, squawk, squawk as they fly. And if they're going to, might land in better light. Yes, they're going to. Land nice out in the open for us, guys. And the starlings are actually chasing them. There we go. Look at that. And you can see that wonderful green or bluey green. Oh, they're coming right at us now over our heads. 
Sorry, Sebastian. They're going to give you a hard time, these parrots, this morning. Now, the question was, what? what is my all-time favorite bird? And the answer is that I have too many. I literally, I, I have so many favorite birds. Um, I have a favorite bird based on its call. I have a favorite bird based on the way it looks. I have a favorite bird based on their behavior. Um, and so, like, African broadbills, one of my favorite birds. And, uh, oof, shoebill is another one of my favorite birds. And uh, I'm very excited because in a couple of days, uh, Jamie and I are going to Uganda. And uh, Jamie's never seen shoebills before. I've seen them in the Benguela. In uh, the Benguela swamp in Zambia, I've seen them before, but Jamie's never seen them. And I'm very excited because we're going uh, out on a boat on Lake Victoria into a specific swamp to look for the shoebills. Um, and also, I'm very excited about a thing called a papyrus gololoronek. Not a gololoronek, just a colonic, but I'll show you a picture of that later. But it sounds like Tristan is, again, like Taylor, avoiding the bird challenge to look for a mammal. But in this case, I'll forgive him because it's the African wild dog.